squirrel. I'm pretty self-centered. Oh, and what's that like for you? I don't like listening to people. Uh, I think I'm smarter than everyone. I don't really like being in groups. Oh, and do you carry any stories about this? That I'm a narcissist? Um, that I'm a selfish, bad person? Oh, and when you hear that story that you're a narcissist and you're a selfish, bad person, what comes up in your body? I feel this dull ache in the center of my body, like behind my rib cage. I feel a lot of sadness and I feel very alone. Let's slow down here. Let's take a few deep breaths. And the invitation is to just be with that dullness in the center of your body, with those feelings of sadness, with those feelings of loneliness. In these moments, letting go of fixing or changing or even resisting. Just breathing with what's true for you right now. What comes up? Honestly, it's kind of a relief. It's exhausting to fight this all the time. Yeah, let's take a few breaths here with that feeling of relief, with letting go of fighting. And without all the fighting and resisting, what's left? What comes up? I feel a lot of sadness. I want to be liked. I want to have friends. Yeah, you're feeling sadness. You want to be liked. You want to have friends. So what if all of this is true? That part of you is very self-centered, thinks mostly about yourself. And part of you is very lonely and seeks connection with others. And maybe part of you doesn't like that selfish part of you. You know what that sounds like to me is the complexity of a human being. It's natural to have selfish parts, loving parts, self-loathing parts. And sometimes human beings act out of these selfish parts, these self-loathing parts, these wounded parts, and they cause harm to themselves or others. So if you do that human thing and you make a mistake, you cause harm, can you hold your humanness in one hand and your actions in the other. So that you don't lose your humanity every time you make a mistake. And with your humanity firmly in your hand, you might find it easier to learn, easier to grow, easier to make repair because this is also human. The potential for growth, the potential for repair. So in all of this, 
can you hold on to your humanity? Can you hold on to the humanity of your neighbors? So much is possible if you do.